Hey everyone, welcome to our channel, The Novel Bitches. My name is Tasha and I am one of four bitches who run an online book club. We also offer subscription boxes that we like to call novel boxes. For the month of May, I have chosen The Scent Keeper by Erica Bauermeister. I have put together for our book club a box of, let's see, 10 items. All of them have been custom curated, chosen very carefully to go with this book. There'll be certain scents described in the book. There'll be certain situations that Emmeline gets into that maybe brings up an item in our box. In our book club, we have a pre-reader, someone who reads the story and gives this really important detail without giving away the story. We get to actually experience the story itself when we read with our book club. It's been very exciting. We kind of put together these like mystery boxes almost for ourselves and for you guys. So it's really, really cool the way that it's done. Without further ado, we are going to talk about the items that I have put together for the scent keeper. First item I have is a cedar grilling plank. Look at this beauty. First of all, this is really cute. Cedar Alpha puts together these absolutely gorgeous planks. We'll put that right back up there. These are gonna be your instructions on how to use a cedar grilling plank. And speaking of cedar, you know, and scent memories, my grandmother has a cedar chest, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be able to say the same thing, but it does bring back a lot of memory for me to smell this specific thing. Also, really yummy foods. Next up is our fish spatula. So this is obviously gonna go with the cedar grilling plank. Look how beautiful this thing is. Like, really, really thin, so it gets under stuff very well, and it like, you know, scrapes up everything without like, like separating it like some spatulas can do. These things are amazing. Next up, like I said, we're in a remote island at the beginning of the story. So it's gonna be trees everywhere, wildflowers, you know, things that bring a lot of scent and will have a lot of memories of Emmeline's childhood. So we are including some beautiful wildflower seeds these are actually gonna be perfect for pretty much all zones in the United States. I love them. They're my fave wildflowers in general. So we got those in there for you guys. You can grow your own little garden of, of scent memories. Next up is the BC Ocean Mist Candle. Look how, first of all, that little label is so bomb. I had such a fun time making these. These are inspired by the salty ocean air in British Columbia where the story basically takes place. It's gonna be a very oceany, scented, misty candle, but I also included some really gorgeous Himalayan pink salt, which obviously BC is not the Himalayas, but the salt will give you that like very oceany scent when you burn these. They smell absolutely incredible. Next up, is an item that is going to be um, Emmeline's second part of her story. So it's set in three parts. One is when she's with her father on this island learning about scent memory, and she's off to a new island that actually has electricity and running water. And this is where she gets to experience taking a bath for the first time. For her, a nice hot bath is something that she's not used to having. I've made a vanilla nut latte body scrub Look at what's inside. I'm wondering if I shouldn't. Maybe I will open it. I want to smell this. So coffee for me has a lot of scent memory. It's not just the smell of it brewing, but it's the smell of it grinding and the sound that it makes when it's like whirling around. It brings back a lot of like morning Christmas memories for me because you know in our family we don't start Christmas until all the adults have had coffee. So growing up, it was always like hearing those scent, sounds and smelling and then, you know, watching everyone kind of take their first sip of coffee and then be like, all right, yes, now we can go. Merry Christmas. Okay, check it out. I have kind of all the ingredients lined up. We have some sugar, one type of coffee, a different kind of sugar, another type of coffee. There's layers of honey and coconut oil. 
and vanilla bean. Honestly, it smells absolutely incredible. This to do wonders for cellulite, but I personally use it for, you know, just rubbing away and polishing dry skin. I know that Emmeline has a lot of memory surrounding coffee. That's why that's also an item in there. Next up, we have a gift from the mermaids, which is a box of chocolate pearls. And these things are super cute. They look like little ocean pearls, but they taste like crunchy little chocolate sixlets. Next up is a lip balm. So this is a super pretty lip balm. You gotta take a quick peek at this. This one is honey. Look at that rose gold in there. This actually smells exactly like honey. A lot of scents and a lot of flavors are mentioned. So we've tried to put as many as we can inside this box. So I've got like eight different scents of lip balms. So each of you guys will get one of these. But this kind of goes to island number two again, where she's going to school, experiences a lot of firsts, like I said, the bath and uh, bullies at school. And I do know that while chapstick is not one of her favorite memories, it's still important. So we have that in there. Next up is our Shimmer Solid Perfume. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried a solid perfume. They're actually my favorite kind of perfume to use. I use the solids and the roll-ons because I think that they just mix with like your own natural scents a little bit better and they stay but in a light way a lot longer than like a traditional spray perfume. These are made by the brand Pacifica and I've got different scents and sticks that I picked out for you guys this month but you'll each get a different one of those. The one that I have right here to show you is Hawaiian Ruby Guava. So no, that isn't necessarily a scent from this story, but perfume is, you know, part of Emmy's third, you know, part of her story. So parts one, two, and three, and three being when she's a little bit older and experiencing adult things and, you know, perfume is one of those things. I like to warm the perfume up first by rubbing it in an area where I know I'm gonna, you know, use perfume so we always use it in our wrist so I'll warm the stick up itself so that it gets going and can kind of start releasing the scent these specifically oh which by the way are a hundred percent vegan cruelty free these have a little bit of shimmer in them a little mermaid shimmer right so you can use them kind of anywhere you want to add a little bit of shine you could do a little on your collarbones you could do a little on your shoulders you know a little swipe on the cheeks if you like Pretty much wherever you want to add a little bit of shine and a little bit of scent these things smell incredible i'm not kidding you're gonna love them next up i have two more items they're gonna go in this box before i'm finished one is that we always include a bookmark every month they're almost always completely homemade by us once in a while we find you know a bookmark that we just cannot resist this month i took absolutely forever on this so just pretend you love it okay i drew out a mermaid and had it and i had to engrave and cut some really fun intricate designs in there at the tassel anyways i love this bookmark <laughs> it took me way more time than it should have but i think that's why i could not be more proud of it so anyways i included this bookmark to go with our story obviously because mermaids are special in this one and last but not least, this one is kind of my most favorite. So here's where you guys are gonna create like your own new memory. I have made, and no, I have not seen these before. It was just a random idea and I decided to go with it. I have made a memory jar where I've put a scent on a little scroll. So I've got a scent that I personally and a few other people that I have spoken to when I had them smell it had not had a memory for this scent yet. I can't really describe the smell. It's very difficult for me to describe something that I've really never smelled before. But what I'm hoping is that you guys will also not have smelled this before. So here it is. This adorable little thing is a memory jar. And what you're gonna do with this memory jar is you're gonna keep it with you until you experience a moment in life that you kind of wanna remember forever. And we know that, you know, a lot of our memories can come back to taste or smell or sound or, you know, the feeling of something. And 
you smell it or taste it again and all of those feelings and emotions from that first moment kind of come rushing back. Sometimes they're good memories and sometimes not so much, but I'm hoping you guys will create some good memories with this one. So to use my memory jar, when you're ready to record a moment in time, I want you guys to unseal the wax. And yes, I did try to make it look as it was described in the story. You're gonna unseal the wax, take a deep breath, and breathe it in. Then hopefully the next time you smell this specific scent, it'll bring you back to the moment in life that you've chosen. Hopefully you guys are able to do that. This was really my favorite part, which is why I left it for last and because it's super special to me. So I don't know what you guys are gonna use this for and I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna use it for, but I'm definitely gonna save it for a really special moment that I would like to have in my vault forever. Hopefully what it'll do whenever I smell this combination of scents again, it'll just bring me back. That is also going in here. The last thing that we usually close up inside of our box is our thank you card. Every month we have one of our daughters, not my daughter, one of the other gals, who run the book club with me, she designs our monthly characters to kind of go with each book. She is an incredible artist. Her name is Avery Reyna. If you ever want to have any artwork done by her or have, you know, ask her to draw you in a cute way, you know, just get in touch with us and we'll make sure that you get that done. Anyways, what you're gonna see is for this month, this is what she's drawn for us. So for you, for those of you who don't know who we are, this is Anna and myself, Tosh. This is Dez and that's Domo. So the four of us run the book club together. Each of us choose a different book each month and then we each are also tasked with curating the box to go with it. So it's always gonna be a little bit different. We also have a little what's in the box. Y'all know what that's from, a little seven. Gotta love Brad Pitt saying that, I can't stop saying it myself. Anyways, look at that gorgeous card. It's got that gold shimmer in it. Ugh, beautiful. But this explains everything that you guys are gonna get and how to use it. All of this is available for purchase. You don't always have to purchase the book with it, but we make that available for anybody who wants to just have everything come together. Or maybe you don't wanna join our book club and you just wanna give this as a gift. It's really cool that the book comes with it. I'm gonna drop all the info that you need to be able to order these. So don't miss out. Uh, don't miss out on our, our guest author either because you know that's gonna be super cool. I hope to see you guys soon. Oh, one final thing. I've made a kind of how it's made video for a lot of these items. And putting those together, I'm gonna add that to this video so that you guys can kind of take a look at what it takes to create one of our novel boxes. It is a lot of work, it really is. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.